Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. So today I got Galaxy S10e Exynos model and today I'm going to flash the Lineage OS official 22.21 on the Galaxy S10e and we will get Android 15. This is the official Lineage OS 22.21. So those who like to have this ROM on the mobile phone, you need to unlock the bootloader first and you need to check the battery must be charged. If it is below 30%, you need to make the battery charge. So you cannot get any interruption during flashing and you need to save all the internal storage data. Otherwise, the flashing will format everything and your mobile phone must be on the latest updated stock firmware like in case if you have updated your mobile phone to the latest stock firmware and in case if you are using any custom rom doesn't matter but once your mobile phone is supposed to be updated to the latest stock firmware right and if you are using like a samsung account then you need to go sync your samsung account and then remove it otherwise you will have issues during flashing the custom recovery and also sync your google account once remove it to avoid issues later on and then go to uh, security and privacy turn off the screen lock by selecting swipe if you have done all these things simply power off the mobile phone <music> I have provided links in my video description. You need to make a new folder on your computer hard drive and you need to download. This is the Lean H 22.1 officially and nightly updated ROM for the Galaxy S10e. And we need to download the Mind the Gap Android 15 ARM64. This ROM is coming not having any gap. So we need to flash the gaps separately after flashing the ROM. Odin, yes, platform tools, the recovery, lean edge recovery and lean edge VB meta file. Now we have to convert recovery and VB meta from .img to .tar. First of all, extract platform tools, then extract Odin 3.14.1, then copy ROM file, mind the caps file, recovery file, VB meta file, from the downloaded folder, open the extracted folder of the Blade Palm Tools, paste all the files over here in this extracted folder. When done, then we need to do one more thing that is rename the ROM file. Select it, press F2, erase the file name, just give ROM. So the file name is supposed to be rom.zip. Press enter key, then select the gaps file, press F2. Erase the file name, give a name G A P S. The file name is supposed to be G A P S dot Z I P. Press enter key. Now right click on the CMD, then left click on run as administrator. Click yes on next pop-up window. The command window will open. I have provided commands in my video description. You need to copy the commands from there for convert for converting the dot img into dot tar first i will select the vb meta command from the provided description then come to the command window paste the command by pressing the control plus v so the vb meta dot img is converted to vb meta dot tar now it is time to select the recovery command select copy come to the video uh, the command window then press control plus v done now i will not close command window i will just minimize because we have to use this command window for the flashing the rom and gaps file right and i will go to my extracted folder i can see that we be made a tar file and recovery tar, tar file i will select these two file recovery.tar and vbmeta.tar i will cut these two files from here will go back to my downloaded folder and i will paste both file outside to my downloaded folder now open the extracted folder of the Odin. 
double click the Odin file to open the Odin. Click OK on this window. The command, the sorry, the Odin will open. Now click any slot, right? I will go for AP. Then I will go to my downloaded folder and I will select the recovery.tar by double clicking on it. Again, you can uh, click any slot. I will go for CP. Then I will again go back to my downloaded folder and I will select the vpmeta.tar by double clicking on it. Coming back towards the mobile phone. Mobile phone is supposed to be power off. We need to boot the mobile phone into Odin mode. Press and hold the volume down key, big speed key, right? Volume down key, big speed key. You need to check the other side of the data cable must be connected with computer. Press and hold the volume down key and big speed key. Just check that buttons are properly working. If the button didn't press one of it, then the mobile phone will not get boot, right? I will press and hold the volume down key, big speed key and will collect the cable with the mobile phone. Just wait here. Then release both keys when you see a warning screen. As I told you that the button is supposed to be pressed properly, right? Now on the warning screen, press the volume up key once to boot the mobile phone into Odin mode. The Odin mode screen is supposed to be like, if you can see that uh, the current status is actually custom because I was having a custom ROM. The KG state is supposed to be checking. The FRP lock is supposed to be off and OEM lock is supposed to be off in a bracket. You will see U which means that the bootloader is already unlocked. Now the phone is booted into Odin mode and connected already with the computer. On the computer screen, the Odin already detected the mobile phone because I have installed the Samsung U your Android USB driver already on my windows. On the Odin, press options. Then uh, untick the auto reboot, go back to log, click start to start flashing the ROM file on, uh, sorry, recovery file on the mobile phone. You can see pass message, which means done. Exit the Odin, go back to downloaded folder, double click the extracted folder of the platform tools. And we need to boot the mobile phone into custom recovery that I just flashed. The phone is still booted into Odin mode. Now, booting the mobile phone from Odin to the custom recovery, we need to follow the procedure that press and hold the volume up key, volume down key, BSP key and power key. You need to check all the buttons are supposed to be properly working and you need to press the button uh, properly Otherwise, the mobile phone will not boot, right? Press and hold the volume up key, volume down key, big speed key and power key. All buttons supposed to be pressed at one, at same time. Just wait. When mobile phone restart, release the volume down key first. When you see Samsung logo, release the power key then. Okay. Now, do not release the volume up key. And to big speed key one, two, three, four, and you can release the volume uh, up key and big speed key. So the mobile phone is booted into lean edge recovery. Let me show. As you can see that the version is 22.1 lean edge recovery, and uh, we need to do the first step is to check is the tap or the touch working or not. Tap the factory reset. Yes, the touch is working. That is nice. In case if the touch is not working, then we have to use the button key buttons, right? For like uh, pressing the volume down key to for to do the selection. And for final selection, we have to press the power key, right? I am already on the data factory reset, so I have to format data factory reset first. Format data. Done. Format cache partition. Yes. Done. Format system partition. Yes. If you see error, repeat the system partition once again. It is done. Good. Okay. It is not happening. Go back to the main screen now. And tap apply update and tap apply from ADB. So the phone is booted into, uh, into ADB mode.
coming back towards my computer screen well i will recall the command window that i minimize before right we'll start flushing the rom file i will give the command adb space side load space rom dot zip press enter key as you can see that the rom file is started transferring to the mobile phone right and it is also getting flash at the same time now it will take a time so we have to wait the rom file got flash very perfectly you need to check that install completed with status zero definitely it will come if the uh, flushing done perfectly now we have to flash the gaps file but before we have to reboot the recovery tap advance and tap reboot to recovery wait for it now when the recovery comes once again we have to tap apply update and apply from adb and coming back towards the computer screen type the command to flash the gaps file adb space site load space g a double p s dot z i p press enter key same thing will start once again the file is getting transferred to the mobile phone and and at the same time it is getting flash also and you may see this thing that signature verification failed anyway we have to flash it so we have to tap yes caps flushing turn again you will see install completed with status zero which means properly done simply tap reboot system now and disconnect the cable when you see samsung logo and now we have to wait let the mobile phone start booting to the lean h 22.1 android 15 rom the first boot will not take that much time and we are done from the computer well 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 the first boot completely didn't took that much time complete the setup screen if you want to stick with the lean age rom like using it if updates coming you need to update also then the, during the setup screen you need to put a check sign update lean age recovery alongside with the os then you can tap next go ahead flushing done very smoothly i got the official lean age 22.21 on my galaxy s10e exynos chipset we'll go to settings then we'll go to about phone let me see yes here it is and uh, you can see the name galaxy s10e and we'll go to android 15 so this is the Android 15 official lean age 22.1 and Android security update 5th December 2024 and uh, you need to check the B spent version provided over here and this is the build date and the build number right everything done very smoothly we have Google Play Store simply log in your Gmail account and start using the mobile phone or ROM straight away right do not forget to like the video and if you are haven't subscribed my channel yet and you are getting help from my channel do subscribe thank you so much we'll see you in my next video until then goodbye